Well, hello there! It's Cake again, today with a little quick tutorial on how to transfer files to and from your SD card on a new 3DS without taking the SD card out of your new 3DS. Uh, I just recently got my new 3DS and found out this method, which is way easier than the last uh, video guide I made, which showed you how to physically take it out of the console. So, for this one, it's super simple. Uh, just go to the settings option from the home menu and you'll need to already have a internet connection set up to do this and then next go to data management and then go to micro SD management alright then press next and apparently this works on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 I'm not sure if it works on any newer versions, it probably will, but uh, let me know in the comments if it doesn't, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. So just click next until you get to this screen, and then you'll see they have a bunch of things that are not configured. So press next, and then, as you can see, connection one, that's my current internet connection. I connected to the router and have it set up already. So you'll have to have done that already and then just pick the one you're using and it's that it, it works okay and the next thing you're doing is just naming some stuff to log in with I just leave it the defaults but you can change it if you want to make it safe I just keep it as user and then click next and for the password it'll just pick some random four digit one you can just leave it and then the name that's fine too just you can just go with whatever it gives you and then select OK. Okay, please plug in the AC adapter. Um, you can do that if you want. I got a full battery though on this guy, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, now we're connected to the network. All right, the next step involves you going to your computer and go ahead and press start and then go to computer and then on the left hand side you should see an option called network and you need to select that if this is the first time setting something up like this you'll need to click this thing that says network discovery and turn on network discovery and then select no if you want it to be just private on your network or yes if you want public I just went with no I think that's probably the safest one to do alright and if you did everything correctly you're going to see an option called 3DS and then the name that it has on your 3DS um, as an option on here and then you just double click on it and then put in the username and password that's remember on this screen okay so my username is user and my password is one nine one two and click OK and then here's your micro SD and you can just open it and now you can transfer files back back and forth between your computer and your SD card and now the information is already saved in your uh, new 3DS so when you come back in all you gotta do is come and open it connect and then click this network option uh, on your computer and you'll be able to transfer files back and forth Just for example if you download this hacks folder from one of the other videos and you want to install some homebrew then you'd be able to just drag these right in over to this folder and if you want to get something off it's just as easy alright guys so that's how to do it on a new 3DS if you have a original 3DS or 2DS uh, you can't use this method but there is a way to do it similar to this with homebrew so I'll have a link to that in the description or at the end and it lets you do things without having to take your SD card out and transfer files back and forth too so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that it helps you out and I hope that you run some homebrew and pack the mons pack the mons I hope that you hack the mons yeah Wow, that's really dumb. Okay, I should not do that anymore. Alright, see you later.